Hello, everybody. I'm Eugene Brown, and welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to discuss Humble. The name change is coming soon. Have you made any money? I certainly have. I let my, my students know when they should have been buying it. Stay tuned for more information. Okay, guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to talk about the symbol TSNPD. Uh, as many of you know, I've done quite well trading it over the past couple of months. And uh, today we're running again, we're up 5%, but a couple of disclaimers. I'm not a registered investment advisor. I have no affiliation with Humble. The name change should happen hopefully this week. Uh, the, this information is for training and educational purposes only. I used to have my investment licenses. I've done quite well for myself. And the goal is to help people become better traders. If you'd like to find out more information, stay tuned for the outro after the video, and hopefully uh, I can help you help yourself. So let's jump right in. As always, I tell you to look at the stock in all time frames. We'll take a look at TSNPD. I told my students the other day, at 322, they really should be buying. And um, so if they listen, hopefully all of them did. Uh, we are up uh, about 25% since that time. So if you had 10 grand, now you got an extra 2,500 in your pocket. So if we look at the monthly, I think most of you already know this story. We've started way down here at uh, pretty much sub-zero. And over the last five months, we have run up and have come back down. We had the four for one reverse stock split, which uh, caught me off guard. I wasn't expecting it. And then didn't quite trade as well as I should have when the stock ran up post split. I think I had a minor brain cramp, but I've done well nonetheless trading it very, very well. And so let's take a look at the weekly. Had a run up, reversal printed, consolidation, nice hammer held in there, made a higher low here, big giant bearish engulfing. This bearish candle has engulfed all of this. Heading lower, I uh, told folks I loved it here at low 250s, uh, bought it, and now we're working our way back up. Because when you actually think about it, you think about what does 250 represent? We'll divide that by four, you know, pre-split pricing at 62 and a half cents uh, on a pre-split basis. I absolutely loved it at 75. You can see some previous videos where I actually show my account and the money that I actually invested. I'll see if I can remember to post the previous uh, videos. I guess over to my left on the screen where you can check that out and actually see the money for yourselves because so many times people say oh i did this i did that but then they never show you their account so i show you my account i show you the the purchases and so you can see uh the money that was spent and the confidence that i uh displayed by buying it and so when the stock hit 250 i loaded again and uh and i just keep loading at certain key points so uh let's take a look at the daily we look beautiful, just kind of heading higher. It's a beautiful little look there. Drill down a little further. Four hour chart. We've broken through where we needed to get through on that 370 range, which was the other day we broke through there. Now we're heading higher. Uh, I think the next stop for us to test is uh, going to be about 462 in that range. You can go to bar chart. Bar chart usually gives you a nice um, resistance and support area. In fact, let's just pull it up and see what they're telling us there. Let's see here. You got to know where you can get your information from. Let's bring all bar chart over. All right, 
Bar chart has humble at a strong buy. Nice chart here. And if we scroll down, we'll see what information we get. Key turning points on the daily. We've got a resistance, which we've already broken through at $4. But we really need to close about 5% higher than that. Second resistance at 418 and then 444. So um, you can keep some of those numbers in mind there, which maybe it will help guide your actions. But uh, we, uh, we're doing well on the chart. You know, we might get a little consolidation in here for uh, a couple of days, but we'll see how uh, all of this kind of shakes out. We might consolidate a little bit in here, some profit taking, and then I think we'll be heading higher. When we get the news on the name change, you might get some selling. I don't, I don't quite sure, I don't know why. Uh, that information should already be uh, baked in the price. It's not like anyone who, um, who hasn't been paying attention to it doesn't know that the name change is coming. Uh, but that may have some other, uh, some other consequences when the name change actually happens. And if we're over the $5 threshold, we may see some different mutual funds and uh, private money management start to come in because some of these guys and gals, as far as the money that they run, sometimes there's a threshold where they don't wanna buy stocks under a certain price point. I think you'll see some announcements as far as partnerships, country rights, and uh, some other things that are gonna come down the pipe. But the number one thing that's coming here shortly is the release of the app. That should happen hopefully in the next two, three weeks at best. And uh, hopefully we'll get some revenue projections. This is a stock that you buy and hold ideally. Um, I don't always hold, but if you're new to investing and if you can buy things right, sometimes you hold them, it'll make you a lot of money. Um, so if you don't own it, should you buy it now? Yeah, I would. It would have been a better buy at $2.50 and also a better buy at $3.22, like I told uh, my students. Um, but, you know, so if you're going to hold it long term, yes, certainly a buy, but three buy try, you know, so maybe you buy some here at $4.02. Um, if it pulls back on some consolidation over the next couple of days, right before the name change, maybe that's a second buy. And then you buy it when we really start to break out on maybe one of those uh, resistance uh, levels that uh, bar chart spoke of. I believe the next one was at 413 or something. I can't remember the exact number, but you can go back and watch the video. Uh, and so, but if you, if you already own it, you know, what should you do at this point? Um, again, it depends on what kind of trader you are. For me, uh, I don't know when I'll sell it. You know, we may run to six and I'll sell it and then I'll wait for it to regroup. And, and that's kind of how I run things. You know, I, I like to take the money. If you're a student of mine, is a running joke that some of the folks are having a difficult time taking the money. So guys, when you have a lot of profit, you know, things don't always run for forever. Uh, depending on what kind of trader you are, you're holding it for months and months or years, you're not worried about it. But if you're a trader or a day trader and you got 40, 50% of your money, take the money, you know, because you can't go broke taking money. You know, will you leave some money on the table? Yeah, sometimes, but you live with that. So when you have the money, because this market has been difficult, a little bit challenging the last four weeks, take the money. So uh, finally, you know, would I sell it here? No, because there's too many catalysts that are coming. Uh, the, the drop the drop of the app, country rights, and all of those other good things. So buy it if you're a buyer for long term. If you're a trader, I would wait, maybe. Um, I would wait maybe if I see if I can get a pullback, you might not, because uh, they could drop the app tomorrow. I mean, they could drop the name change tomorrow, which will, could excite some people. But uh, I think once we hit $5, once we start to push through some uh, key areas, I think uh, that is uh, going to uh, to be significant as it relates to other players that may come in. 
So we're looking at a downward trend line of about right there on the four hour chart. I think once we push through to about five and a quarter ish, I think we'll be off to the races. And once we finally break through this last high that was made here, closing high guys, closing high. Some key numbers in my brain would be these three. Would be in here, low fives, getting past six, getting back past 650. Once we get past 650, we're going to be off to the races. Hope some of this information helped. If you wish to get some additional coaching or you wish to join a free program that can put some uh, money in your pocket and help you learn some things, it's called uh, Stone Eye. Uh, there will be a link in the description box uh, below. And if you need some individual coaching, just let me know. Anyways, hope you guys enjoy your Wednesday afternoon. And as always, I'll tell you to trade well and not often. Talk to you soon. Oh